Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Reality Console. Today we will explain uh, Landsat 8 images bands. Band 1, band 2, band 3, up to band 8. What it means, as well as the bands combination, will also be explained. So let's get started. This is Landsat band 1. Lancet band 1 B1 tip This band sends deep blues and violet Blue light is hard to collect from space because it scatters easily by tiny part particles Water That is why distant things such as mountains appears bluish and why the sky is blue that is basically the reason because it is difficult to uh, collect uh, blue because they easily scatter so now let's move to band 2 2 3 and 4 you know, band 2, 3, and 4 are visible blue, green, and red. Now let's move to band 5. This is band 5. Band 5 merges near infrared. This part of spectrum is very important when conducting ecological studies. Where healthy plants reflect its light. Water in the leaves of plants scatter wind lamps back into the sky. Here, healthy vegetation are usually seen as red. Let's move to band six. Six. And seven. With respect to band six and seven covers short wavelengths, infrared, and then the large band is band eight, which is a chromatic band, works like blue and white tone, and combines visible colors into one channel. So that is basically the explanation of the various bands. So now let's move to the band combinations. What they really mean. The band combination, what they really mean. So this is my I'm going to use this image. So I want to explain what mostly when you want to do classification, you need band combination to be able to identify some of the uh, features on the image. So first of all, let's start with combination of uh, 5, 4, 3. This band combination uses near infrared 5. Red 4 and green 3. Chlorophyll reflects near infrared light. This band combination is useful for analyzing vegetation. Red areas usually appear reddish. So let's change the combination. 5 4 3. 5 four three apply see the combination so the reddish areas are healthy vegetation and the areas that appears bluish are built up areas 
and areas that are appearing dark are water bodies. So that is the combination for 5 or um, 3. And this one is very suitable for what? Conducting vegetation analysis. So now let's move to the next part where I will use the combination of um, seven, seven, six, four, six, four, apply. This is 764. And this composite displays vegetation in shades of green. So if you see the green areas, that's vegetation. So in the vegetation, they have different kinds. Dense vegetation are normally darker. So when you see areas that are dark darker green see darker green see them means that that is a vegetation and especially vegetation appears lighter green so lighter green lighter green and urban areas appear blue so any area that you see that looks uh, blue see it is a township they are urban areas or built up areas built up areas and soil appears shades of brown and this band combination 764 is very vital or important for conducting agriculture studies. So let's move to another band combination. Let's move to 652. 65 and then 2 apply this says five to combine combination mostly used for crop monitoring this band combination is used for crop monitoring dark green are healthy vegetation also areas that are darker green are healthy vegetation and then bare land appears magenta hue and then water bodies appear black you see these are water bodies and then for another band combination that i will let you to, uh, to know is um 762 that is usually used for geological studies seven six two yeah this is normally used for geological studies and you can easily see the buildings vegetation water bodies etc 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 thank you very much for watching this video to see more of this video, can't subscribe to Learn Reality Console for more videos. Thank you. Bye bye.